Hey guys, in this video, we're going to talk about how to trigger or stimulate something called the vagus nerve. Now, what is the vagus nerve? It's one of the longest nerves in the body. It originates from the brain stem on both sides, okay? And it goes throughout the whole thorax or the, the, um, the chest and the abdomen, innervating the heart, the digestive organs, the spleen, and it has a two-way street. In other words, information can be picked up from the digestion and sent back up to the brain and then information from the brain can be sent down there. So if there's something going on digestive-wise down here, it can really affect you up here, okay? That's probably why, you know, if you are bloated or you feel constipated, you just don't feel right. You're, you're, you have brain fog, you have a headache, things like that. So the vagus nerve is part of something called the parasympathetic nervous system. Now the parasympathetic nervous system is responsible for rest and digest. So digestion, rest, recovery, things like that. And then you have the sympathetic nervous system, which is flight or fight. Picture being chased by a tiger, running away, you need high uh, pulse rate, you need blood flow to your muscles, adrenaline. Then when you sleep, you need the parasympathetic. So you need both of these working in harmony. Now the problem with most people is that they're very heavy on the sympathetic nervous system because of stress and very weak on the parasympathetic nervous system. Now if you can Picture this, let's say for example, you run up a stairs, right? And your pulse rate goes up. As soon as you get to the top and you stop running up the stairs, the parasympathetic nervous system kicks in and is activated. And it's, you can kind of picture it like a wave. It's like a push down wave that's pushing actively your pulse rate down. So after exercise, the parasympathetic nervous system kicks in there and is the recovery mechanism. So if you have poor recovery, you really have a uh, weakened parasympathetic nervous system. Someone has a really good recovery, they can bounce back quick, they have a very strong parasympathetic nervous system. But a problem with this system can really affect your, not just recovery, but your ability to sleep, heal, it can create all sorts of problems in the digestive system. Now, unfortunately, certain drug companies are starting to develop something called electroceutical devices. Um, for example, here's one, the vagus nerve stimulation, which they basically put a little device on your chest and they stimulate through uh, little mini shocks the vagus nerve to help people with migraines, headaches, fibromyalgia, inflammation, Crohn's, depression, epilepsy, and the list goes on and on. But that's pretty invasive and there's side effects and the effectiveness isn't that great. So I'm going to show you four things that you can do to strengthen the vagus nerve and really the parasympathetic nervous system, okay? Number one, simple breathing. You can control your own breathing, okay, consciously and affect the parasympathetic nervous system because when you're in a stress mode, your breathing is altered. Usually it's like you're breathing in slowly but you're breathing out very shallow. So the, the exhalation is very shallow. So it's like, like that when you're stressed. So if you're trying to sleep at night, for example, and you can't sleep, or you want to just calm your nervous system down, this is what you would do. You would slowly breathe in for four to five seconds, and then slowly breathe out for four to five seconds. So right before bed, you're, you're just doing this. You're like... You're breathing in, and then you're having, your exhalation is exactly the same as your inhalation at about four to five seconds, okay? That, over a period of a few minutes, is gonna calm down the nervous system and you're gonna probably fall asleep pretty quick. So this is a great technique right here, okay? Number two, long walks. Calm the nervous system down, it's low stress, a lot of oxygen will stimulate the parasympathetic. Number three, there are certain minerals that also support the parasympathetic nervous system. And the big one is potassium, because it's a calming mineral, magnesium, and sodium. So just make sure your diet includes enough of these minerals and in the ketogenic plan um, it's built around supplying these minerals right here and including some sea salt as well. On the flip side if you look at the sympathetic nervous system you need uh, phosphorus okay and also calcium. So phosphorus you would get from animal meats. So if you're consuming too much protein for example not enough vegetable you can, that alone can stimulate the sympathetic nervous system. So we want a balance of a good amount of vegetables to provide the potassium and magnesium and some um, meats uh, to help balance that out. 
And lastly, there's techniques, acupressure techniques that you can do to greatly improve the parasympathetic recovery and also uh, kind of turn off your sympathetic nervous system. And I put a link down below if you haven't seen this, but I did a whole webinar. It's called a stress webinar. And I actually walk you through how to do this step by step. All right, so go ahead and apply this and I will see you in the next video. So if you don't have this book, you might want to check it out. It's entitled, It's Not Lose Weight to Get Healthy. It's Get Healthy to Lose the Weight. Healthy Ketosis and Intermittent Fasting. Check it out. I put a link down below.